everyone welcome back to a new what i wore in a week i feel like i've not done one of these for quite a while i actually think before we went to new york which is like over a month ago anyway it's friday and i thought for the next week i would film my outfits we've got a few things coming up a couple of occasions i've got a work event and then just some normal casual days so i thought um it's quite a nice variety to film and hopefully it will give you some outfit inspo so i'm actually starting off with a very very cozy casual look today it's friday i've just filmed a couple of reels um i feel like at the moment i normally try and have fridays off filming but at the moment everything is just mad i think if you work in fashion or marketing pr you know that november is the busiest month of the year so every day is go 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 all evenings weekends weekdays so um yeah i've just been filming it's coming up to lunchtime we are going to pop out we've got a few bits and bobs to do go to the post office things like that and i think it's just been nice to get some fresh air as well to be honest because it's it's an all right day it was quite nice before but now it's just dull so anyway i'm wearing this amazing cozy ensemble from varley so you probably actually i did i wear this in my last what I wore, I might have done. It's like this amazing set. When I say Varley is like the most comfortable brand, um, honestly, like their fabrics are so soft. They wash really nicely. They're so incredibly comfortable. Obviously a bit more of a kind of higher end loungewear, but I would say if you're looking for just one or two really nice elevated loungewear pieces, then Varley is the brand to go for. I think especially as it's, as it's coming up to kind of cozy Christmas season, um, it's nice to have these pieces that you can relax in at home, but then maybe go out. If you're going to a hotel, I think it's always nice to have a really soft, cozy loungewear set that you can dress up a bit. I think you could even put a blazer or a smart coat with this and it would look really nice. But I have gone for this new in coat again from Varley. I mean, this is just incredible. How cool is this coat? It's like a puffer, cozy, cream I, I this is more cream i think on camera it's coming up a bit duller but it's definitely cream and it's so cozy and then i'm gonna put these sunglasses with it this is just just shows kind of the power of accessories and styling like put some cool sunglasses on with your loungewear and it instantly upgrades it so i've got my bottega sunglasses on which are like a beige so that tones in nicer with the jacket and then some missima chunky hoops you can see i really like these hoops actually um, the matching joggers and then my shoes, my new Adidas trainers, which I really like. They're really nice fit and style and they've got a bit of cream detail on them so they tie in with the jacket. But yeah, this is outfit of the day for a casual Friday and I'll probably catch you tomorrow as well. Everyone. so it's the next day now it's saturday afternoon i think it's just gone half two it's coming up for like quarter to three i think so um i'm just heading out it's been a morning of organization today and i'm just heading out now i need to get my nails done and i might just nip into boots and a couple of different shops whilst i'm out um it's pretty rainy and cold today so i'm kind of wrapped up i've got my um mango earrings in which i'm obsessed with i hope uh, they're still in stock because I really really think they're a good buy and I've worn them so many times and they don't hurt my ears and they're not heavy and then this new knit from our kit which is like a kind of cropped but chunky boxy style which I think is a really really nice style um, I mean you can even see there's a bit of bulk tucking in but when you've got like a long jumper it's so hard to tuck into jeans so having this slightly more cropped style makes them lot makes it a lot more flexible um, and then I've got my Arkit jeans on. These are like, well, these are the cloud jeans. I would definitely recommend sizing down in these. So um, if you're unsure. And then my boots are from By Far, which um, if you kind of followed me for a while, you'll have seen them last year, probably the year before, I think. And then my Almada coat. I'm just going to finish with my Loewe crossbody bag. 
Um, but yeah, just an easy one. Um, essentially, this is like jeans, jumper, and a knit, but I think there are a few things that kind of elevate it. One, the color palette. I think this is such a nice color palette to go for at this time of year. Um, the brighter blue just brightens up the darker colors a little bit, but they all tone really nicely together. And also just the accessories, I just popped on my YSL belt. And then my earrings. So I just feel like there's a few little details to make it more elevated. And then I think if you wanted to, you could kind of dress it down more by removing the belt, putting some trainers on, or you could dress it up more by swapping the jeans for some like wide like black trousers so it would make quite a nice workwear look but i do think this is a kind of fail safe combo i'm gonna see you tomorrow we're actually going out for sunday lunch with some friends so um i'll catch you in tomorrow's look hi everyone so it's the next day um sunday and i'm back with my next look so we're actually going out i think i mentioned this yesterday we're going out for sunday lunch with some friends. Um, we're going to a place called Firehouse, which is not too far from us. It's in Manchester and they do really good food, um, but I've never actually been for a Sunday roast there. Um, so I'm excited to try it. Um, anyway, this is what I'm wearing. The weather's kind of turned quite cold now. So I'm layering up my knitwear with this Uniqlo round neck merino underneath, um, a long sleeve one. I actually filmed a reel all about this because I've got this and the black one and the real was basically why these are going to be the most useful pieces in your wardrobe, um, in your autumn wardrobe that you can buy. Um, and I truly, truly believe that these are like the best staples you can get at this time of year. So I will link this below. It's something like £29.50 from Uniqlo. Beautiful quality. I've had uh, ones in the past that I've still got and they're still in great condition. Um, I've got two black ones, a small and a medium, and then I've just got this cream one, which I know already that I've been missing from my wardrobe. So I'm gonna wear it so much, either as a layering piece or a piece in itself uh, to pop under cardigans and blazers. So yeah, really useful piece and it's long sleeves too. And then over the top, I've got this Massimo Duty knit, which you may have seen me in before. Well, I've kind of, I've actually never worn it out. Um, I've only worn it for like, content so I'm excited to wear it out so it's his first outing I'm sure of many more as well because it's a really useful piece um, I love that it's got the shoulder pads in it I also filmed a reel all about cardigans which might be up yeah I'll probably be up now so I'm um, going to check that out on my Instagram and basically the merits of cardigans and what you can do with them and then jewelry wise I've got my Amazon Bottega dupe big chunky earrings in and then for my hands or on my hands I've got this Missima ring here this one is Rosie Fortescue jewelry and then I've got my Monica Vinader two-tone bracelet and then my Diamante bracelet I can't remember oh Carrot London that's where that's from um but I'm really enjoying wearing more of these kind of sparkly Diamante crystal type of pieces uh, especially at this time of year, I feel like they really come into their own and I love layering them with gold as well. And then I've got this other piece on, which is kind of the same, perfect for party season. This one is also from Missima 2. I think this is, this is so cool. Thank you, that's gorgeous. And then my jeans, my faithful balloon jeans, I've just tied them, not tied them, hoisted them up with a belt from Suzanne, but I don't think, I'm gonna have the belt on show. I'm gonna just kind of have it loose like that. I mean, it doesn't really matter if the belt shows or not, but I'm just gonna keep it kind of streamlined blue. So I've got my Zara baggy jeans in on, which probably are sold out now. And then my Naked Fashion boots from my collection last year. Scent-wise, I've brought out the Patiala, I think that's how we pronounce it, from Tamin, um, which are a beautiful fragrance brand, really kind of potent as well it lasts and it stays on. It is an expensive brand, but it really, really, really does last and you can still smell it on yourself like days later. So it's really beautiful. Um, I love it for this time of year. It has this very wintry feel about it. I just love it. I think if you like um, kind of portrait of a lady or Baccarat Rouge, then this is a really, really nice one. It's a similar kind of tone. Probably gonna wear my Cos black coat with it. I'm just gonna take my Dior bag just to tie in the black of the boots so yeah that is um outfit of the day for sunday and i'll see you in my next look
everyone. So it's now Tuesday actually, and I'm actually just heading out after a morning of work for some admin -y type jobs this afternoon. Um, nothing too exciting. I need a kind of cozy-ish outfit, just that I've just thrown on to be honest. I think the key is in the tonal. So I've got this knit on that I wore, that I got last year. I think this was from Reese actually. It's like a kind of beigey shade of knit. Um, and a matching coat from Marcella London. Some new hoops from Missima, which I absolutely love. And rings as well. They're like the Wave Ridge hoop, Ridge, Wave Ridge rings. And then my Loewe sunglasses. So it's kind of sunny outside today just to bring in some black because I've got my Loewe crossbody bag on. These jeans from Everlane, which I'm swearing by at the moment, they're just a really simple straight leg. And I think they're called like the vintage blue wash, which I think is really nice. Kind of brightens your outfit up. And then my by far jeans. So just a really easy throw in kind of look. Jeans, head jumper and a smart coat. <laughs> So it is now Wednesday evening and we are heading out tonight to a restaurant called Sexy Fish. I'm sure most of you know about it, but it's an amazing Japanese restaurant that has now opened in Manchester. So initially I think it's actually based in London. I think they may only have one in London. And now they've moved up here, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but they've moved up here to Manchester, opened a new restaurant. We actually went to the opening of the restaurant, which was really nice. Very fun, but it wasn't like we didn't get to try the food or anything. So they've actually invited us back, which is so nice, to try out the food, um, see our thoughts. So I'm very excited. And this is what I'm wearing. So I've got this beautiful blouse on from Under the Stories, these gorgeous puff sleeves here. High neck, but it is quite sheer. I don't know if you can see in this light, but I've got a very kind of fine top underneath it which you can actually see through. Um, so I need to get a different top because uh, this one's not really the right thing. I need to get something that's maybe like a satin in like just a kind of similar tone to go under it. Something a bit kind of lighter weight because this is like a kind of nudie, stretchy like vest almost. So it doesn't quite work. So what I've done instead, I, can, I will be able to take this off, but I thought it looks kind of better with it covered up here at the moment. So I've got this um, sleeveless blazer on from AMR London, which actually when I put on, I've kind of realized it does like emphasize the amazing sleeves and neckline, kind of does the blouse an extra favor as well, because it is such a beautiful blouse. And I do think the sleeveless sort of enhances it. And then I've got my naked fashion leather trousers on. These are just comfy for eating, sitting down in. And then these beautiful new shoes from Zara. I'm so happy with this purchase. They're a sling back nude heel with diamante and pearl details on. They're so chic. They're such a great shape. They're really nice heel height. They fit so well. I went for a size up because I'm a half size. And yeah, I love everything about these. They're exactly what I needed, especially when you want to wear some lighter colors or do some color balancing at this time of the year. I have a lot of black shoes, but these just fit the bill perfectly. I'll link them below. I'm really, really happy with them and they're comfortable too. Um, I think these are just kind of the perfect shoe. They're one of those that I feel like everyone could use in their wardrobe. So um, I will definitely link them because they're so good. And then whilst I zoomed in, I'll just do my jewelry. So I've got these amazing new earrings on. I bought these at Anthropology. They're like a diamante. I don't know if you can see that there. Really cool diamante with the gold, Bottega style. Um, and then my Daphne ring here. Oops. Um, on this finger, this is Monica Vinida, new from Missima, this one here. Love this ring, so cool, great for this time of year. Parrot London bracelet is a diamante one, and then Monica Vinida two-tone. That is my outfit of the evening. I'm gonna take my Loewe clutch as well, because it's just plain black. So yeah, really looking forward to it, and I'll catch you in my next look. Hello 
Hello everyone. So we're on to the next morning now. It's like half 10 in the morning. Um, had a really lovely night last night. I would highly recommend Sexy Fish. Um, such a beautiful, beautiful restaurant. It's amazing the way they've done it, um, but also great food as well. So uh, today I'm off to an event with LTK, Like to Know It, which is the platform I do a lot of my affiliate links through. So they're hosting a little brunch today in association with eBay, which is really exciting. And this is what I'm wearing. So we're going to a place called Restaurant Climate, like a brunch lunch. Um, and I'm wearing my Uniqlo knit, which I'm absolutely obsessed with at the moment. I filmed the whole reel on it because I think it's like the best knit you can buy. Have I mentioned this already? This is the one I wore the other day on Sunday to go out in. But anyway, this knit, yep, swearing by it at the minute. I had a black one on originally and I felt like it was a bit too heavy with the brown and I felt like it was a bit too eveningy. So I swapped it for the cream. Over the top, I've got this Marsala um, like boxy jacket. Comes with a matching scarf. I don't think I'm gonna need the scarf at the event and I'm just gonna be going from the car to the event. So um, I don't think I'll need that and I'll probably end up taking it off anyway. So I'm just going without it today. Um, my Heaven Mayhem like square earrings. Loewe, ooh, Loewe bag. It has this nice like dark tanny brown. So I think it kind of tonally goes with this jacket. I've added my YSL belt for a little bit of a pop. I'm just relying again on this just to give everything like a lift um, with all my staple pieces. I think it's all about the accessories. This outfit just looked quite plain until I added all the jewelry, the bag, the belt, and then the jacket. So then jewelry wise, I've got Missimer stacking rings here, North School, North School, North School again here. And then my maxi skirt is from Residus, which I think is coming back in stock. It's sold out online, but it's a really nice maxi skirt. Beautiful quality, it's got a nice stretch to it. It's um, definitely maxi and it's got the slit up the back, which I love. And then my boots are my faithfuls from my collection with Naked last year and yeah that's my outfit fragrance wise actually i'm wearing this one from tamin um patiala i love this such a good winter fragrance did i talk about this the other day did i wear this the other day maybe i did but anyway great winter fragrance and that's what i'm wearing today yeah i think i did because i think i mentioned that it was if you like kind of baccarat rouge this is a similar kind of tone so yeah that's outfit of the day for today's event gonna have to head off now um, and then I've got another event later on today so I'll show you my outfit for that later this afternoon Hello everyone. So it's a couple of hours later. Feels like not long at all since I was last speaking to you. Had a really lovely event um, and it was so nice because there were lots of other girls there that I knew both from LTK but also just content creators around Manchester. So it felt just like a really nice catch up um, and also got to see an amazing collection from eBay. Um, of loads of pre-loved pieces. Um, they're such a good one now, I think, for designer because they have an authentication process. So you know you're getting the real deal. And they actually explained that it's a really rigorous process that they go through. So if you're thinking about shopping pre-loved, especially designer, I would really recommend eBay because they've got a really good collection as well. It was a lovely event and now we're moving on to the next one. So tonight is in association with Smartworks. Um, I am the Greater Manchester Ambassador for Smartworks, which is a charity that helps women either get into work or get back into work. And they do things like interview um, help, dressing, um, just basically all of those things that can be really, really nerve wracking at the best of times. But these are helping women who have gone through some troubling times um, a lot of the time. So to get back into work is, is an even bigger step for them. So you can imagine how we all feel in the world of work when we are doing something, but for these women, it's often 10 times more difficult. So they're an amazing charity and I'm so happy that I am ambassador and I get to support them. And it's just everything I believe in 
with confidence in clothes and empowering women. Um, so I love it. And tonight they're doing an event, it's called a fashion and fizz event. So they're having a talk by Nadine Marabi, which is so exciting because um, they have the most beautiful pieces, especially for the festive season. And I'm so excited to hear her story as well. So there's gonna be a speech and then lots of shopping. Um, and it's a, a place in Cheshire called Mottram Hall. So we're heading over. I'm actually taking M. I'm gonna drive us both over and it should be a really lovely event so i'm sure you all follow em but it's what i'm more on instagram i'm sure you all know her very well but I, i'm going with her and then freya's going to the event as well freya farrington which you all know freya so um that should be really nice just to catch up with the girls as well but this is what i'm wearing anyway <laughs> on to what we're here for so these beautiful earrings from orium collective I love these. I think they work so nicely with the belt because they've got that square detail. Um, obviously going for my belt again, just showing you really the versatility. It is an expensive belt. There's no denying that. It's on matches. Stay tuned for matches discount code. I'm not sure whether this would be included actually. There are some brand um, exclusions, but just to note, um, that might be coming soon. And then um, my blazer is Dura Coco, which I absolutely love. These beautiful shoulders in them double breasted it's got this hourglass silhouette to it so it lends itself really nicely to a belt um my jewelry is pretty much the same as before and then a couple of pieces from last night my daphine ring and my missima ring as well and then this beautiful skirt from the white company my velvet one which i absolutely adore it's really stunning quality and i actually think the white company shipped to the us now um, and then my Paris, Texas heel boots, but I'm definitely not gonna be able to drive in these. So um, I think I'm gonna have to do a flat boot change and then I'm gonna take my Demelier bag. So this is the full outfit situation. I'm really looking forward to the event and catching up with the girls. And I'll see you in my next look. everyone I hope you are well um, I'm saying that because it feels like a really long time since I last picked up the camera it was my last outfit maybe Thursday evening when I went out for the Smartworks event did I do an outfit Friday I can't remember but anyway if I didn't do an outfit we had a really great night at Smartworks really interesting listening to Nadine Marabi talk about her journey and just kind of a really nice night in general to support the charity so it has been and gone the weekend now. It's Sunday evening. Um, we've actually spent, well, we spent yesterday at home then went to my parents last night. And now tonight, um, I'm actually going out with my friend. We're going to have a cheese and wine night. So it should be really nice, really excited. It's absolutely pouring down outside and it's also gone really cold. I'm kind of wrapping up with double jumpers here and then I'll put coat, scarf, etc. on. It's kind of like, casual-ish, but I wanted to just jazz it up somehow. So I've got this Massimo Duty cardigan on from last year, and then I'm wearing this as a jumper. So I've just kind of tucked it in, buttoned it all the way up, and then I've actually got a long sleeve gray jumper underneath just to kind of tone in. But the idea is that you don't really see that jumper underneath. But obviously this cardigan is last year. There's lots of these kind of cardigans knocking around at the moment so i'll try and link something similar but they really are so useful and i love that you can dress them up with your accessories and what you pair them with so i've got them with my leather trousers my faux leather trousers from my collection with naked last year same with the boots i just wear these so much because they kind of fit under trousers with them being tight legged but still look evening appropriate so when you're sitting down and your trouser leg rides up a bit you don't see your uh, calf but it's also it keeps you warmer as well. Our cat have a really similar rounded version, but I'm not sure if they're online at the min at the minute. They might have sold out. But anyway, jazzed it up with some jewelry, my mango earrings. I think this size is maybe sold out, but I think they do have a variation of these. They're like the gold and silver striped 
hoops, uh, not hoops, earrings, and they just make a real impact. I mean, I've got like dark gray buttons on, so I think it works nicely that the earrings are like a dull gold and silver. And then my Daphne ring, Miss Ma rings, um, and then I've just got a couple of different bracelets on. Monica Vinader, Carrot London, another Monica Vinader there. But yeah, I just wanted to layer it up with some accessories and something kind of a little bit more jazzy and then just keep the outfit kind of cozy. So yeah, that's where I'm heading to now for some cheese and wine. Very hungry, I'm very much looking forward to it. We are on to the final outfit of the week and actually it's not really the same week it's when was the last outfit i filmed i'd say the last outfit was like a week and a half ago um things have been very manic around here lots going on all good things but obviously with it being november it's black friday month it's coming up to christmas so at this time of year, for my job, it's obviously the busiest time of year. So I've been very busy working with some amazing partners on some content this month. So that's kind of where my priorities have been lying in terms of content and YouTube, filming, things like that. It's all been very much go, go, go um, with working with my brand partners, which is amazing, so exciting. So I had to put this particular video on the back burner a little bit, but I thought I'd save my final outfit for today because I'm going to a festive event with Jo Malone, um, which is really exciting. I love Jo Malone events. They put on the most lovely events. As you know, they are just the most beautiful brand in general. Um, I just feel like they get everything just right from the fragrance to their aesthetic, their kind of branding, everything they do so well. So I'm really looking forward to it. We're going for a festive lunch at 20 stories, which should be really, really nice. 20 stories is literally 20 stories high. So you get a really nice view of the Manchester skyline. It's a bit of a grim day today, but nonetheless, it'll be a really nice lunch. I've actually already seen one of the girls, uh, Lily, going uh, to the event because I bumped into her when I was getting my nails done this morning. She was getting hers done um, just before the event as well. Anyway, this is what I am wearing today for the event. So I don't know whether to do my cardigan up or leave it um, open, but I decided to go for this all black outfit. So I've got this cardigan from Almada with like the shoulder pads. Um, these cardigans are so well made, so beautiful. The buttons on them, I don't know if you can see, they're like a kind of bashed silver, so nice. I absolutely love this and I love that you can kind of dress it up and down because it's a cardigan with a twist got some more structure to it um, than like a normal cardigan. It's obviously got the buttons which elevate it and the shape, but at the end of the day, it's still a cardigan. It's got that knitted feel to it. So it strikes that really nice, smart, casual balance. I paired it with a black t-shirt underneath because initially I was gonna do it up and kind of tuck it in. So I might still do that. My, what, these are from Anthropology. I get confused which ones I got from Amazon and which ones I got from Anthropology. Um, but I think I got these ones from, Anthropology. I'll link them both anyway. North School bracelet and like bracelet and ring. And then this amazing belt by Black and Brown London. I absolutely adore this. This is so cool. I love like the wave detail, the rectangular shape. I'll link it below because I believe it's kind of new stock. This skirt is from H&M. I absolutely love this. This is gonna be so useful. Again, it's like one of those that you can dress up, dress down. You can put this with like a flat boot and a chunky knit. Um, or you could dress it up a little bit more like how I'm doing here, or you could go full on dressy. I actually did a party wear reel the other day. So if you go on my Instagram, or did I, I might have posted it to shorts as well, I can't remember, but it's definitely on my Instagram. So if you go and follow me on there, at Lydia Jane Tomlinson, there's another way of me wearing this skirt in a lot more of a kind of dressy way. So it's a really useful piece to have in your wardrobe. I think it's such a chic version of a skirt. I love the kind of shape, the fabric, everything about it. So good. Um, and then my Arquette boots, which I absolutely adore. I've been wearing these on repeat actually, because they're like a cool daytime boot that feel a little bit dressier. And I feel like that is the perfect thing that we are looking for at this time of year. 
Um, fragrance wise, I'm going for Marin Tonka by Jo Malone. You know, I love this one. Um, really nice one for this time of year as well. Um, so this is, yeah, the scent of the day. I'm finishing with my little Loewe uh, crossbody, but I'm gonna wear it as a clutch, I think. So yeah, outfit of the day and final outfit of the week. Weeks. Um, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, hit subscribe if you've not done already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.